Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. The plan is very, very simple today. We are going to be continuing on with the MSQ. We got the Moogle boy, the big boy himself, in front of us, waiting for us for his approval after we've done some bitch boy quests. <laughs> and then we're going to be doing some of the Dark Knight quests as we do have the level 51, 2, 3, and 4 to do, I do believe. If there is uh, quests on each of the levels, I do not know. We're going to have to find out with that. But that is what we're going to do. We're going to start off with the MSQ because we are very close to meeting the dragon boys. So close. And I want to meet some of the dragons up within this mist. It's going to be really, really awesome. Literally so peaceful. I've prepared some things for a meal. There will be player plane fair. But better be... <laughs> I see. I was right to worry about the boys' safety. Once Alphano returns with a word, we can see about supper. The Ice Queen has filled a pot with what looks like a stew ingredients ready for the fire. Oh, a stew as well. Oi. Oh, oh. oh, she knows the way to my heart, doesn't she? A stew. Oh, stews are so nice. Look at this. Look at this. If we get audio for this, this is going to be amazing. Oh, the Moogle's asleep. <laughs> oh, there it is. What? No, Stu would not be made out of Stuart. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. That would have... Oh, the voice acting would have added to it. Are there few things compared to a simple pleasure of sitting beside a crackling campfire of one's own making? Ah, so speaks the great explorer. Until recently, you wouldn't have recognized firewood if it would have came with kindling and a flint. <laughs> He's fucking him off. This well, you instructed me so patiently, then. But yes, left to my own devices, I would have been compelled to signal Iceheart with a pile of damp leaves. I was born the pampered son of the Sharalan dignitary. And alongside my twin became the youngest student ever to be accepted into the stadium. How proud I was to match wit with scholars and philosophers. How ignorant of mine own shortcomings. The Habris invited manipulation and betrayal and led to the downfall of the Scions. We all know... We... We... All of us guilty of similar ignorance. How many men lay down their lives never knowing what it is they're going to fight for, never questioning that which they may have been taught to believe. Thus, only upon meeting husband guy, that I have learned the truth hidden between within our histories. Were it not for the, that chance encounter, I would have never vowed to tear down the holy sea and expunge the falsehoods with which it fain fans Jesus <laughs> the flames of conflict I would have have lived and died in ignorance that the truth has driven me to do terrible things I can not deny but I would rather sin in the pursuit of peace than I'd imagine myself victorious for persuading a needless war no they should have just done voice acting for this that would have been so much better than my pronunciation oh if this journey has taught me anything, it is the importance and difficulty of holding to one's convictions in the face of failure, of striving always to replace one's ignorance and with knowledge. You are well on your way, Master Alphano. At your age, I was but a fool, swinging a spear with scarcely a thought in my head. Even now, I struggle to acknowledge the misconceptions under which I have labored. 
Sitting here amongst these grand ruins. How can I deny that man and dragon once lived in peace? But for all that such an age extinct, we are now in a time of war. Nice dog killed my family and no quirk of history will exhort them. Exhort him. I may be ignorant of how the Dragon Song War begun, but if we do not put an end to this conflict now, I can say for a certainty that it will only breed more vengeful souls such as mine. Oh, what a throat. In my hands resides the power to vanquish the great wine. If Ishgar survives rest on me wielding that power, I will slay Nice Dog myself. Orders or no. Esteen, you gave your word. My word is contingent upon the excess of our parlay. Show me the strength of your convictions, Lady Iceheart. Convince Hud... Yeah, Van Guy. Of the righteousness of your cause. Doubt not, but that I shall, Dragon Boy. Well, winds willing, we shall have our answer on the morrow. Let us sleep now and face our fate with the rising of the sun. That was nice. That was nice, chat. I feel like this is going to be... I hope there's more scenes like this where they all just kind of just chill out. And this is kind of like a... A resting moment within the story. Because I think they're really, really nice. Hell yes! I'm getting even more powerful by the minute. Oh, I need this geezer. Thank you so much. Heart of Ice. Oh, yes, the campfire was so cozy. I must have fallen asleep, Cooper. Yes, you did. <laughs> but you did not feel the winds have shifted. They have borne Hartenberg back to the skies above Zenith. I am sure of it. This is our chance to climb the highest floor of the palace and summon him with the toot on that shiny horn. So uh, I'll be heading back now, if it's all the same to you. Good luck, Cooper. It was nice knowing you. Is. Blow the horn on the top floor. All the way to the top floor. I must go. What a journey. What? Oh, no. <laughs> why? It's because I'm a lala. Is it because I'm a baby? Ura? Is that why? The dirt stops me. Don't worry. I shall mount this. Oh. Chat, I'm just going to be quiet for a moment. So we can just take this in. It was on this fine day that Yuko friend, Baby Ura, Lala, first of his name, makes his way to the top floor of Zenith to meet with her Heisenberg for the first time. As the crew waits, not knowing what's going to be happening next, they take the risks nonetheless. The fate of Ishgard rests in their hands. Will Lala be able to go forth, or would it be all for nothing? But Stuart and Stuart have joined us. We shall see. Oh, that's incredible. It is incredible. It is time, Warrior of Light. So, this is the place. This is Bay. Lend me your resolve, Saint Shiva. No way. Is she going to be ice? Oh, she's going to be Shiva again. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I was testing out my new musical instrument. I didn't realize it summoned you. I just come to the top of it because it had a nice song. I'm sorry. Well. <laughs> oh. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Is this going to be my favorite expansion even before I played the other ones? Trace <laughs> Velga. No, it's Heisenberg. That's interesting. That's interesting. He drops that. Bracevelga, do you not remember me? Twas I whom you found in Dravania. I who glimpsed the truth. The truth about your past. About Shiva. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Kind of hit a nerve there, I see. And speak it, I must. I have summoned Shiva's soul from the beyond and offered myself as her vessel. She has made her heart known to me. Hey. Oh, oh. Plot thickens. I have surrendered mine to her. Do you not see, my love? I am Shiva reborn. She's gonna have to transform. That's the only way. It's the only way. She's gonna have to transform. As it may, Lord Tracefelga, Izel's desire to heal the rift between man and dragon is real, and it has borne us this far. We would spare both our kind and yours the ravages of this senseless war. Pray join your voice to ours in a call for peace and forgiveness. <laughs> Okay, damn, 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 damn. There's a lot of lore to take in. <laughs> this is. Oh, this is nuts! Oh. My beloved Shiva sanctifies service to. Oh. Oh.
to harm after. Fesk do for one Istra. King Forden is the enemy in all of this, then. Gain the strength beyond of mortal men. So they gain power from the dragon eyes that they got from the sister dragon. The King Forden has got some powers. Well, you can see why they want Ishgard to the ground now, don't you? Really? Wow. Your tale bears scant resemblance to the one I was taught. How convenient that it should absolve your kind of all responsibility. But tell me, dragon, why should I believe your version of events? Oh, to King Forden and the Pope is probably going to be the bad guys of this expansion. Then. They've got to be hiding something. Like Esteen said, they've got to be hiding something as well. They must have provoked them some way or something like that. Heretics. Nah, I don't believe any of them. I'll, I'll stay in the middle, thanks. Oh. Then... The seed lies within us. to such a transformation looked on as a heretic assumed the shape of a dragon i imagined it's some manner of dravanian enchantment what so they're all just giving out what am i am i catching but up any ishgardian regardless of allegiance has such potential within them twelve forgive us to think of all the dragons we've slain so all the dragons we've slain are actually people of ishgard War Urimun Alaan as Drago.
Oh, this is nuts. This is nuts. Oft have I wondered why Nidhogg did not simply raise Ishgard to the ground. Because now he's I using my answer. He has no intention of winning the Dragon Song War, for it is no war at all. But vengeance. An eternal requiem sung for his murdered sister. So he wants everyone to turn into dragons. That's why he wants the whole of Ishgard to turn to dragons. Am I picking up what he's putting down? I have not come this far only to admit defeat. We can still return the eye to Nidhogg and beg forgiveness for our ancestors' crimes. Mayhap our words will sway him. It's gonna be a little bit tough. There's so much law for this, isn't there? Oh, he's telling her to get away, really, because of what she claimed that she done. I'm guessing. Okay, big boy. And just like that, he's gone. The plot well and truly does thicken. There was so much law there, huh? So he wants Ishgard to suffer, and the way to do that is people will have stuff within them that can change them into dragons, and then the dragons would invade Ishgard, killing not only their people of Ishgard, because they are the dragons, but killing their own people at the same time. So you're kind of killing off not only the people of Ishgard, but you're killing what they think is dragons. Woo! Okay, he wants this guy to suffer for an eternity. Oh, look! A law! <laughs> law, blood pickings! Heisenberg was every bit of the awe-inspiring as I imagined. His voice fairly dripped with power, the will behind his words so unidentified that it transcend my ignorance of the dragon's tongue. This but a pity that I misliked what he said. So far did we travel even until the very heavens themselves, only to be dismissed like unruly children. And far from his mistigating this humiliation, the hidden truths we have learnt serve only to provide or prove that our grand mission of peace was destined to fail from the first. Nothing will deter Nice Dog from his course, so we've got to kill Nice Dog no matter what. No matter what happens, we've got to kill him. The Wyams Lair. Alphano is considering your party's next course of action. Well, what do you propose we do now? Oh. I, for one, am intent on continuing to the east. What is there to be found in the east? Nidhogg's Lair, the Airy, is said to lie in that direction. And the eye tells me he is near. You cannot still mean to slay him. Well, yes, because he's not going to stop at nothing you until we kill him. You cannot still mean to stop me. I have been true to my word and aided you in this fool's errand with Hraisvulga. But your efforts at Pali have come to naught, Lady Iceheart. I would see Ishgard saved, and for that, Nidhogg must die. Uh, it's nice, dog. With the tale of our ancestors' vile betrayal yet ringing in your ears, you speak of continuing this war? Oh, yes, that's what the dragon Nay, said. lady, I would but pierce its vengeful heart. When Nidhogg dies, this war shall die with him. 
As the dragon said, the war's never going to end. Because... You yourself spoke of the Great Worm's strength, that you believed him powerful enough to raise your city to the ground. How then are we few to challenge him? Got the Even overnight. behind the stout walls of Ishgard, with an army of knights manning the defenses, our victory would be hard won. Yet you propose to contend with the beast in his own lair. Why not? <laughs> in close combat, this will afford us an advantage. And if the tales are true, the warrior of light has bested many an invincible foe. Uh, yeah, I have. But such speculation is meaningless if we cannot even find the worm. Our first task must be to seek out Nidhogg's lair. <laughs> the story of this nation grows bloodier by the moment. Must death always be answered with more of the same? Yep, sadly. Such is the way of things, I fear. I shall consider it a miracle if mine armor is not stained crimson ere this conflict is ended. Damn, okay, that's a bit thick. <laughs> that's a bit thick. That I should be blinded by my own lies. Everything I believed. Everything I thought I was. Gone. All gone. Now, Icehard's going to have her own character development going forward now because she's got to find her Lisa, own identity. Your words will not reach her now. And we have not the time to wait for her to gather up the pieces of her shattered faith. <laughs> He's going in. He's going in. Did he just do some savage content? My God, he's going in. Cold, yeah. Like, matches her name. No, savage, yeah, he went in. <laughs> he went in. He has no chill. I love him. I love him. Ice in her veins, yeah. But she's going to have, I'm guessing, as we go on throughout the rest of this expansion, we get, like... Ice Heart's gonna find herself. Oh, it's gonna be incredible. Oh, it's gonna be incredible. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So we need to make our way down to the forearm. So I'm gonna teleport back down. Oh, it's been an honor. It really is. I need to take some G poses here as well. Whoa, whoa. Get away. Get away. Don't make me slay. No, no. Get, he's, get. Okay, he's, he's away. He's away. He's away. He's away. That's good. Don't tell me he's out and about over there. Is that it? No, that's some wizard Aye, shit. That would be the airy. I feel Nidhogg's presence through the eye. His caustic hatred gnawing at my soul. It would seem the death of his consort has put him on guard. Mark how he wards his lair with tempestuous winds. Well, we just swoop in. We just woo. In I come. A similar barrier once barred our entrance to the primal Garuda's domain, until we discovered the means by which it could be penetrated. How uh, did it get penetrated? By the ship. They're going to use the ship on the cloud top, aren't they? Mayhap it is time we called upon Master Garland. It will be just like the good old days now. Oh, <laughs> just like the good old days. I'm too old for this shit. Oh, no way! No way! Are they going to do the same again? Uh, no, 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 no. That's going to be epic. Seeing our boy again. So we got to make our way back to Cloud Dry Top. Yes. New wins, old friends. Esteen would have you enlist the aid of Sid Garlon. Hmm. A force of professional power to break through a primal's defenses might, conveniently, grant us access to the Avery. And I can offer no better solution. Pray consult this engineer friend of yours. Very well, on the condition that you swear not to lure Nice Hog from his lair in our absence. And still all the glory for myself, you mean? Nay. I am not so selfish as that. Contact me by Link Pearl when your preparations are complete and we shall set forth from Ishgar together. I suggest we rendezvous back at St. Renier with Forum. 
Yuko, from what I have gleaned of the Holy Sea, decidedly ambitious airship project, Sid will still be in Ishgard. Woo! Drunk! Nero, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Twitch community. Hope you're doing very, very well. Four attempts. Show me inside the manor. I've got to go see Emma. Oh. Oh. Not many are in you. Oh, honor boy. Oh, no, the honor boy's back. When it comes to a man exchanging information of uncertain origins, Lord Emma is something of a prodigy. But I don't put him too highly. We were fortunate to find Emma at home. Hmm, the tavern keeper's lost is our gain. Surely we would talk to Tataru as she is the gossip of the town. Oh, the hero returns. How goes the fight, old boy? Well, I trust. Hmm. In search of Sid Garlon, you say? Then say no more. The tavern are full of talk and the name of the silver-haired genius has cropped up more often than most. I hear that he has been tasked with getting that monstrous airship, the Holy Sea Commission, to actually fly. Thus seem the project has been plagued with mishaps from the first. In any case, Garland's ironwork employees are known to frequent the airship landing, and I'd wager their master does too. The airship landing, yes, I thought as much. You, come, Yuko. We must find Sid and trouble him for his expert opinion. The plot thickens to the airship landing. We must go. Bing, bang, bong. I must go. Yuko, Alvano, how fare you both not terribly well, judging by your faces? Oh, 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 oh. Greetings, Master Garlon. I am sure it will come as little surprise when I tell you have need of a favor. Another wind barrow, and you say it was hundred by nice dog? Hmm, the Enterprise could certainly take where you need to go. But she would not fare well against the dragons. She's allied for a ship her size, but not that agile. The dragons would fly rings around her. And if they took it into their hands to incinerate the rigging, there would be precious little we could do to avoid them. A stain stands at vigil at the edge of the churning mists, but we do not know how much longer. All right, all right. I didn't say it was impossible. I said it was impossible for the Enterprise. We need a smaller boat. There's one at Cloudtop. Big wedge. It's time we gave a new toy of yours a proper field test. There it is. There it is. Our oh, boys. It's probably best if I lead or let the lads show you. Come on. The manufacturer is not far. All right, let's go. Let's go see this big boy. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. Hold on. Oh, are we going in here? Oh, there's something proper going on in here, isn't there? Big's my boy. Our little project just inside. Ah, you're going to like this one. Let's see then. Let's see. Feast your eyes upon our latest and greatest feat of engineering. We call it a mana cutter. Wow. <laughs> Look at After that. We put down Gaius. Wedge and me struck out on our own for a bit and started work on the successor to the tiny Bronco. Impressive little thing, isn't she? My talent for ship design has plainly rubbed off on them. <laughs> All right, Sid. Hey, hey, boys. They've adapted the principles of corrupted crystal technology and constructed a mechanism which converts ether from its surroundings into elemental wind. Said wind is then harnessed by the specially engineered sails, providing the craft with propulsion and lift. All in all, a most elegant solution. Ooh. 
Oh. I'm actually a little upset that I didn't think of it myself. The design does, however, come with one small flaw. Yes. What's that? The energy conversion ratio is bloody awful. To generate enough power to get you off the ground, you need to be in an area awash with predominantly wind aspected ether. Well, that's perfectly fine. That's where we're going. In other words, there are a few places you can fly, lots of places you can't. Well, it's good that we're going to the, the place that we can. The Guardian airship hasn't left the boys much time for tinkering, meaning it may be a while before this particular project takes off. If you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> we'll forgive that one. Tataru! <laughs> How are you doing, Tataru? Tataru, what's happened? No, it's Tataru. I've been looking all over for you. There's been word from Alda. It's about Her Grace the Sultana. I completely, not forgot, but just, it's been so much in the back of this. It seems you're required elsewhere. Leave the mana cutter with us. We'll see that she's airworthy and suitably equipped to slice through those winds. Ooh! You, meanwhile, should concentrate on providing Raoban and the Sultana whatever help they need. No, 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 no. I didn't forget about her. It was just in the back. It was just in the back. There's so much going on with like, all the dragons and Ishgard and stuff like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, chat. It's fine. Okay. The Taru. I'm intrigued as you, Yuko. Shall we hear what news Tataru has brought to us? A general summons. Tataru has news from you from Udar. General Ruban says they have uncovered the Sultan's whereabouts. And he wants you, by which I mean of both of you, go to the Waking Sands right away and help him with the investigation. Come, Yuko. Press him through Ishgard plight. It may be. Our presence here will not serve to hasten the mana cutter completion. Let us return to the troubled lands of Talaland and lend what aid we can. Tataru. Have our friends at the congregation send a message to Esteen. Tell him we have identified a solution to our problem, but that it will take some time to prepare. As you wish, Master Alphano. To the Waking Sands, Warrior of Light. Till this past time, Uldar was delivered from his darkness. I'm sending the Tomberries after him. No, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Enter the Waking Sands. Daddy chat. This is where I'm going to have to leave it on this cliffhanger. <laughs> I'm going to have to leave it on this cliffhanger. We're leaving it on some absolute bangers of cliffhangers. Can't what you have now. Don't count what you don't have.